Okay, and it has a clock on the front, alarm clock on the front. Um, to set it, you use this one, you just pull it out and turn it to set the clock. And you hear it does, does click when it gets to the right time. This one is the snooze when you're on manual. You can set the snooze for, you just turn it to whatever you want it to. I'm not sure exactly if that's all functioning correctly because it is a, a vintage radio. It's a 1955 radio, so it's amazing that the clock even works. Like I said, I recapped it. The case is in really good shape. I mean, it has some surface wear. It's, um, 65 years old, so plastic after 65 years old is going to have some wear, but you see there's no uh, major damage. There is a little bit of crack here, from here to here. I didn't, I didn't address that. I just kind of shined it up a little bit, cleaned it up, cleaned the knobs. Okay, and the front grill and just kind of cleaned it around while I had the clock, the chassis out. I went ahead and cleaned the clock. It has some little scuff here, a little scratch there. Maybe it's a, could be a little bit of a crack there, but very minor. Again, for the age, the bottom's in good shape. And look at the back, there's the back. And the model number, it's a R58 84 14902 chassis, and it has a external 120 volts there, so you could run a lamp off of it or something. And this is where you set the time. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Put it on manual. You'll hear it when the tubes warm up. It's starting to conduct now because I've been having to turn it on and off. Okay. And the tuning knobs on the side here. Let's see when we find the station. I think we found one. Very sensitive. I don't want to stay on it long because copyright music get you in trouble on YouTube. But let's continue around. And that one is in my town, so it's pretty loud. We'll skip it and look for another one. Turn the volume back up. Something distant there, some interference. in my basement surrounded by concrete walls as you can see and there's no antenna except the internal antenna on this radio and you can hear the this guy without without my even knowing i can tell you exactly who this guy is unadulterated racism and xenophobia in the right very good sensitivity. Picks up really well. I'm hardly turning the toning knob at all, as you can see. Just a little turn. Turns. And it picks up good, in the ba even in the basement. For the most part, he's been under the radar because the media does not want to report. Ron DeSantis has taken and has been picking up some interference from my fluorescent lights. But let me show you how the volume will sound when, when it hits a good station with a good volume.
but I can't leave it there because it's copyrighted. For the most part, you have radar because the media want to report. Now, if I had this out upstairs or somewhere where I had a lot of signal, I'd have a lot more stations. I live out in the county, so it's... Very clear um, response. Uh, nice little radio. Now I'm gonna put it on a station. Okay, so this is working. This. Um, because I turned it off and it was still playing. So this little control here, you can set for how many minutes you want it to play. You hear it coming up. That's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 15 minutes. Now I haven't tested that. I'm assuming it's gonna run okay and turn down on its own and shut off, you know. You want to stand around and wait for 15 minutes to see if it shuts off. But it's sufficient, suffice it to say, after 50, 65 years, the control is working. No static in the control. Now, manual, again, runs the, I mean, automatic, is set by the clock. And so, you know, you can set the alarm time where you want and it will come on. Of course, you would put it to manual and you would set the volume where you want it on whatever station you want it on and then you would just turn it to auto and when the alarm time comes the radio would come on i would not risk my job on that timer because it's 65 years old and it is a mechanical device it's not just an electrical device um, and did notice that it keeps pretty good time. So that's a, a plus. So, it, you know, I would trust the clock, but I, I don't know if I would uh, trust the alarm to wake me up at the right time in the morning. It may. It may work fine. But, um, you know, to me, it's a radio. And as a radio, it's an, a spectacular radio for a five tube radio from that era. And um, it runs good. Very, very efficient, very quiet in between channels other than when there's interference. So it runs really well. But anyway, that's a demo of this uh, Sylvania clock radio. And um, if you enjoyed the video, Please like it and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of demos and I'll be adding a lot more on actually uh, servicing radios and tube radios and uh, fans and other small appliances. Thank you. And a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, right now I'm testing the snooze thing and it seems to be working fine. I put it on 15 and it's Probably around seven minutes to shut off, and that's about what I've had it on.